Hello and welcome to this new Power BI video. We will continue our discussion on direct query and in this video we will try to see whether we are able to use time intelligence. I already have a blog where we have used a date table from the database and able to do time intelligence on that. But here what we are going to do in the past videos we have created a date table which is basically a Power BI date table and then we have actually able to filter uh, some of the data and as you can see this is the same page we had in the last video where we were able to filter the data uh, based on a date table which is created in Power BI and we had a model tab where we were able to view only this table and uh, uh, in the data view and we are now going to do what we are going to do is we are trying to see if whether with this table which is a Power BI table can we get the time intelligence so we are going to quickly go and try to create a new measure so let's create a table first and, and in this table we will simply take month year only so that you know uh, we can actually uh, get MTD and then check, test it out okay so we go and say new major and first major which we want to create is MTD and we will use calculate and we will use gross sales in this case let's say and we are using our gross sales majors and then we are going to say dates MTD and then we are going to give this date table which we have and date dot date it is allowing us to take let's see whether we are able to get it or not okay and then we drag this MTD major and onto this visual and then this we are getting this data and uh, so let's sort it on month so we have this 2018 April we have data and we you remember we have this November data so uh, which is this is coming as 259.986 let's go ahead and check it out 259.986 so this is correct so our formula is working so let's go ahead and create one more major let's create QTD now so let's say uh, QTD and we are going to say again calculate we are going to take our gross sales major and then we are going to say dates dates QTD here and in dates QTD we are going to again take the date column from the date table and done okay and very simple it should keep on adding the 33 months okay so it added three months and then it again start at 33 months and then keep on resetting so it seems like working correctly so we go ahead and then now what we are going to do is we are going to create a ytd major also and let's see how does it behave so ytd and calculate again gross sales major then dates ytd and date table drag it here and because it's a direct query you will see a bit of a lag which is coming out here and you see this number is increasing till this place and then it actually has restarted and it's continued to 2019 and 2020 data so very good now just we'll go and see that whether we are able to create the last one data and then typically the approach we take is we take this MTD formula and create this LMTD formula and we are going to say okay run us up behind one month so what we are going to say okay we are going to use date add and let's see whether date add works here or not so we say date add and in the date add we are using on top of date so we say minus one uh, month out here and let's see uh, okay so date and add date MTD ends and let's get end the calculator okay so we have LMTD and we are complicating this table okay so exactly the same number repeating a month later so let's quickly try out this for quarter also let's see can we get the QTD also running like this last quarter so we are going to say QTD and here we are going to say again add date add and in the date add we are going to use minus one and quarter this time okay close it all the parentheses closed okay we already have major with this name so we just forgot to add the L and we add this L okay we have QTD also ready it's added and we see the first quarter is missing and but rest of the data is just started repeating and let's go ahead and create this YTD LYTD we are going to create 
using YTD quickly we go and we say okay give us a new major and this major is nothing but the last year major we are going to use here the again date add and we say okay this major should be one year behind now because we want to compare year with last year and uh, minus one year and let's close all the parentheses done okay we are adding a lot of load on this query now let's see okay got it so this is exactly going to be a year behind because that's where from april we are starting and this is uh, these numbers are coming in so uh, it means uh, not only the table which is coming from database can give us uh, the um, time intelligence but a table which is created in power bi which is not part of our um, database can also give us time intelligence uh, let us know what else you wanted to see thanks for watching this video thank you